Hi everyone, a lot of students messaged me that they want to know about the courses at NYSER. Especially in biology, students were asking me what kind of courses do, do they teach. Do they teach biotechnology or biomedical things and uh, do they teach genetics. So what are the courses and the labs at NYSER? So I thought let's just share with you all. So I have the timetable of semester, odd semester and even semester. Okay, it's starting from first year till fifth year. I have this timetable and in that I will show you the list of all the courses for all the subjects. Okay, not just for chemistry, bio, but for all the subjects I will show you and you will also get to know what are the courses, especially I will tell you about the biology because a lot of students ask me about the biology. So I will show you what are the courses we study from first year till the last year in biology. Okay, and how it actually progresses. You see, this is the timetable of odd semester this is school of biological science so this is the this this year itself like the seventh semester it was so in first year the first semester you study in biology life science of life taught by these uh, two professors then you have laboratory okay and uh, taught by these other professors then in uh, from second year onwards that is on the odd semester which is third semester you have microbiology in third semester then biochemistry then microbiology lab then biochemistry lab then fourth year odd semester which is uh, three, fifth semester right so in the fifth semester you study animal physiology plant physiology ecology animal physiology lab is there then plant physiology lab कोई भी सपना साकार करने के लिए सबसे जरूरी है सही कोच का होना चुनिए साई एस्ट्रा और करें अपने आई ए टी एन नेस्ट का सपना साकार डाउनलोड दी एप नाउ So in seventh semester you study developmental biology, then bioinformatics, then biology project is there. So that is the semester project all of us do. And in that we basically have to choose uh, one particular topic. It's like a small PhD we do for two years. So from seventh semester, right? Fourth and fifth year. Uh, from 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, these four semesters in last two years of our masters, like integrated MSc, we do our master's project, which is like a small PhD. We pick up a topic, we work under a PhD, or we can do our own independent project also. And we study uh, everything about it. We either, either it is experimental or it is, uh, you know, theoretical project. So depending on that, we have to come up with results and we need to have some good results to show in the presentation. So the grading of this biology project or semester project is done through the presentation. So there is a presentation, there is a committee of professors who will actually uh, see your presentation and grade you. Then uh, comes ne neurobiology, as you can see here, then structural biology, then advanced molecular biology, then advanced cell biology, finally advanced genetics, and then comes ninth semester. In ninth semester, you read neurobiology, then structural biology, advanced molecular biology, advanced cell biology, advanced genetics, and finally the project or the dissertation we do, right? As I told you. So this was for biology uh, semester nine, as you saw here. If you do PhD, then what are the courses you all have to take in what semester? That is first semester or third semester. So uh, this is, as you can see, first semester, you have to take bioinformatics and computational biology, then advanced molecular biology lab, research project is there, advanced cell biology. And these things you already saw in, along, these people take the same courses along with the MSc, MSc students, okay? So these are the courses you study in biology. Similarly, for integrated PhD students, it is given here. Now let's come to chemi chemical sciences. So uh, as you can see here in the first semester, School of Chemical Sciences, you study chemistry one, which is the includes basics of all the chemistry you have studied in your class 11th and class 12th. Then you have chemistry lab. Then in third semester, which is second year 201, you see basic in organic chemistry you study, then reaction mechanism in organic chemistry, then mathematical methods for chemists, then in organic chemistry lab is there. 
then in the fifth semester you see physical organic chemistry is there molecular spectroscopy group theory is there then go to you know physics so in physical sciences if i want to show you then in first semester you study into introductory physics again the basics of 11th and 12th physics you have already studied then you have physics lab then in third semester you study classical mechanics one and mathematical methods one in these are actually very different from what you study in class 11th and 12th a mathematical method is actually very very different you get to see you were you studied vectors in class 11th right here you will study completely new kinds of notation cat and bra kind of notations you will study then you study linear optics general physics laboratories there then electronics theory and lab is there then comes in fifth semester statistical mechanics then quantum mechanics too then special theory of relativity computational physics physics lab is there optical optics laboratory is there modern physics laboratory is there quantum field theory is there so all of these things all of these courses you can see classical mechanics too and it is very different than atoms atoms molecules and radiation all these astronomy and astrophysics as you see here in semester 7 you study astronomy and astrophysics and this is the professor who teaches and uh, you can see here right then you study quantum and nano electronics then you study special topics in quantum mechanics all of these things you can see if you guys want this list of courses i can send you uh, you know on my app i can just upload it for free in my app you can go to free study material section in my app siestra and you will see all of these things so this was for physics if you come to mathematics then study in uh, you know first semester mathematics one you study basic set relations functions and all then third semester you study real analysis then linear algebra discrete mathematics i don't know what a lot of these things are rings and modules i don't know differential equations it is very different than you study obviously the basics is same but it is at higher level number theory calculus of several variables several variables okay not just one uh, or two the linear uh, non linear analysis advanced number theory random graphs advanced complex analysis functional analysis cumulative algebra math project is there then non linear analysis advanced number theory a uh, lot of things are there man i don't know a lot of these things of math at it at all so these are the courses as i showed you here if you want i can show you this pdf so this is for the odd semester right this is the timetable is prepared according to odd and even semester this is the timetable of even semester as you can see so here again you can see that in even semester again the courses are different obviously you cannot repeat the same courses every semester right so in even semester second semester biology students study cellular and genetics genetic basis of life like how life actually evolved i also studied this in first two semester everyone has to study physics chemistry math bio and everything then there is a biology lab then there is cell biology in fifth uh, fourth semester then molecular biology cell biology laboratory is there molecular biology laboratory is there and you have to cho choose one of the electives out of stream so generally from humanities you choose either economics or you can choose you know uh, psychology and all those i will i will show you what are the humanities courses also so again then six semester immunology genetics immunology laboratory is there genetics lab is there evolutionary biology is there then biotechnics you study advanced biochemistry advanced microbiology enzymology advanced neurobiology plant development biology cancer biology quantitative biology biology project finally right so this was for the even semester now same way for chemistry if you see so in second semester uh, if i show you this is second semester third, fourth semester study reagents in organic synthesis then main group and organometallic chemistry quantum chemistry one physical chemistry lab one then biomolecular lab and all those then coordination chemistry chemical binding organic chemistry chemical rate processes project crystallography is there then advanced bio and organic chemistry chemistry project and all those statistical mechanics main group chemistry all all advanced so all of these courses are there it's not always mandatory to take all the courses in initial uh, you know years it is but as you progress you can choose you can choose various courses you want to study you can choose uh, what kind of project you want to do and all those things right you can choose your guide uh, and the field in which you want to do your project so all of these courses are there in chemistry then you see mathematics and then uh, physics you can see uh, so i already showed you right i can uh, send you this pdf if you want 
and finally let me show you about the humanities okay so i i didn't show you about the humanities so this is for even semester of humanity so you see introduction to sociology then technical communication then environmental ec economics and environmental impact assessment taught by professor uh, dr amarendra das then organizational behavior this is psychology actually then city in the modern fiction so this comes in you know uh, modern fiction this is one of the courses then you study uh, for phd's you know the courses are like leadership positive psychology cross cultural psychology classical sociological theory research project is there then uh, novels are there in english language right so there is a english language as well so this was the humanities courses for the odd semester let me show you even semester let me show you humanities courses for the odd semester okay so as you can see here you have technical communication one then you have introduction to economics then you have speculative fiction then sociology of uh, science and technology then life in and community in urban world so this is one of the course then you have environmental and ecological economics so these are for phd's then writing in south asian diaspora i don't know what this is humanities and inst institutional space all these things so these are the humanities courses let me also show you importantly about the earth and planetary sciences okay okay we have earth and planetary science department right so this is actually for phd only not for msc student uh, but you can do project with some professors actually but you can see earth sciences there atmosphere and ocean sciences planetary sciences then there is a practical then research methodology research publication ethics and all these courses are there okay in computer science lot of students were asking me courses in computer science so as you can see here uh, the basics was taught in initial semesters programming and data structure lab 1 then theory of computation Uh, which is in semester three. If you do minor in computer science, semester five design analysis of algorithms, then linear programming and combinatorial optimization, then linear programming and combinatorial optimization. So these are the courses. Then for PhD you have uh, linear programming and combinatorial. Okay, advanced algorithms. You have secure multi party computation and you have project work and all right so this was there so if you want i can show you these sh send you these pdf in the app you can download them and read for yourself if you need anything else any other help from me let me know in the comments below i will make video on that also i will find uh, this list of the courses for iser pune also and i will make a, another video for that if you want uh, this videos for other uh, colleges let's say cbs mumbai or iscs kolkata or isi and cmi so all of these courses are actually available in their website so i think you can get them but if you want i can make a video on them as well so let me know in the comments below apart from this If you are preparing for these institutes like Iser, Niser, ISI, CMI, and all, you have already seen our selections: All India Rank One, Twelve, Thirteen, Thirty One, and all. More than four hundred students of Sahyastra are now in these premier research institutes. So, if you are preparing for them, check our Sahyastra website and our courses in the app. Okay. and you can also take one rupee course if you want to see lot of free study materials lot of uh, you know basic things which you can start your preparation with the basic things you will get in that one rupee course so you can check that as well just one rupees link in, link is in the description all the best